Hi everyone, it's Valor from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question regarding having a video file play as an introduction to your mission rather than uh, text or another type of intro. So firstly I'll show you what it looks like uh, and then I'll show you how you can achieve this. So here we are in the mission, we've loaded in and now we have a video file play. And then the video file ends and we're in the mission. Uh, you'll notice there was a slight fade prior to the video playing, uh, which I'll show you how to do. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to do the fade out after the video, but uh, this is just the basics of getting a video playing in your mission. So now I'll show you how to achieve that. So in the editor, we've saved this mission and this is just a... Uh, playable unit and nothing else at this stage just for the purposes of this demonstration so I've already saved this scenario now I'm going to go to open scenario folder and this is the scenario folder so we have the mission SQM you don't need to touch at all and then we have uh, init SQF and init player local SQF if you're confused about how to create an SQF file just right click in the folder go to new text document and then let's just call this test and instead of having txt at the end we just change that to sqf windows will then ask you if you want to change the file extension just say yes and you now have an sqf file that the game can read but we don't need that so i'm going to take that out so uh, in init player local sqf we have a very simple little code and that is just as you can see here whoops Let's go back to here. It is just sleep 2, which is the delay between the mission loading and the video playing. And then just play equals then the file name dot OGV and spawn BIS FNC or function play video. So when the mission loads via that file, it will actually uh, play the video. Now if we have a look at the init.sqf, again this is just a simple little code to have some black fading at the beginning of the video. Uh, not quite sure how to uh, have that uh, at the end of the video, so if you can work out how to do that or you know how to do that, let everybody here know, which would be really helpful. Um, and that is really all you need to do uh, to have the video file play. Now the video file itself, converting that to an OGV is a little bit of a punish. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, it's not all that bad, but uh, let's get let's get into it. Okay, all you need to convert a file to an OGV, which is the required file type for uh, Armor 3 to recognize it in the codes. We just go to Media, Convert, Save add a file. Now I've got uh, a few files in here. I'll just select, uh, let me see. Uh, let me grab that one and I'm going to open it. Then we need to go to convert save and you need to have convert checked and in here you're probably not going to have OGV so what you need to do is click on this little icon select OGG slash OGM in the video codec you're going to go down and select Theora uh, I would select the bit rate uh, to be actually we'll leave it at that for the sound okay and the audio codec, we need to select Vorbis. And here we're going to change the sample rate to 4100 or 44100. And then we give the profile a name. Now I've already got OGV in mind, so I'm going to select, change this to OGV2 and then create. So this file that we have selected already, we need to scroll down here and select the OGV that we need. 
then we're going to select the destination that it's going to go in and I'm going to call this OGV test and we're going to select file type as all and at the end of this where you've got MKV we're going to take that out and we're going to put OGV and then we're going to click save and then we're going to click start what uh, VLC will do as you see now it's actually playing the video and it's converting it at the same time so this is a little bit of a muck around but you really want to avoid the online free file converters um, because you don't know who's got access to your files or where they're going or what they're doing to them so you can use VLC media player which is free to do this so we'll just wait for the file to process it's uh, a 31 second file uh, so we'll just wait for that to finish it shouldn't take much longer one thing you need to be cautious of is the size of the files because you need to put this into your mission folder and for example if your video file size is 20 megabytes um, I'm just gonna so that you'll get this always pop up so just just click on keep existing file and if it keeps doing this then select overwrite and it'll go through the, the process again but you're still going to get the same message pop up. I don't know why that happens, but it does. So I'm going to go now to the file or the folder where I have saved that OGV file. And you see now I have a file called ogvtest.ogv. And I'm just going to end this because that's just going to continue to be a bit of a punish. Now you have an OGV file and you'll see that. So here we are in the mission. Oh, we've loaded. Oh, just I'm already recording over what I've already recorded. So this is how you create the OGV file. You'll see that the um, quality is not great, um, but I don't think there's much that can be done about that. So let's go back to our mission folder, which is here and you'll see I have the OGV file in here. So as I showed you earlier, if you have the init SQF the, with the following code for a little bit of black fading uh, beginning prior to the video, then you have your init player local and this code in there and you have your OGV file. When the mission starts, your OGV file will play. It's pretty much as simple as that. Um, there's really not that much more to it. The most difficult part is converting uh, an MP4 uh, file or an MPEG file or whatever you have to the OGV file, but I've already shown you how to do that. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just a little bit of mucking around initially. But once you have set up that OGV file in VLC as a profile, you no longer need to save that again. Uh, we'll go through that process. You can simply go to convert and select the OGV profile as the conversion, click on it and it'll all work. As always, um, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next video.